presentation from Mr. Doug Smith, and he has a general topic of the bond issue. Good evening. First of all, I have to say um, that I love the five minute, I'm not gonna use five minutes, but I'm used to going to Houston City Council where if I've been there in the last four weeks, I get a minute. So this is quite, <laughs> quite uh, nice to see this. But what I came for tonight, you probably recognize or may recognize my name because I circulated some information prior to the bond issue regarding some of the statistics that I uh, reviewed uh, in your annual financial statement. And as you start making decisions on how to spend that bond money, I would like you to look at some of the questions that I raised in the email that I sent out to people. First thing I raised was that in the last seven years, uh, your enrollment has been flat, and yet you've increased taxes on the citizens by 40%. And I think you and the citizens deserve an explanation uh, as to why taxes have to go up 40% when the enrollment is flat. And one of the reasons I had heard was because we don't get the same amount of money from the state of Texas that we have in the past. But that is not correct because when you look at the money that you've received from the state of Texas, that's gone up 37% during the last seven years. So uh, there's got to be an explanation as to why <clears throat> the tax dollars that you are receiving are 40% when your enrollment is flat. Second thing that I talked about was enrollment in elementary schools. If you look at the most recent annual report, you will see that the elementary schools the design capacity versus the enrollment is about 60% of the design capacity in total. There are some schools, of course, that maybe are above that, but also there are some schools that are way below that, where they are at less than one-third of capacity. And those numbers are probably even worse now because you've lost about, I think, four to 5,000 students since last year's numbers were presented. I think you need to look seriously at the possibility of closing some schools and redrawing attendance lines. I know that's a difficult thing to do, but I think it's a, a financially prudent thing to do if you're looking at schools that are at only 60% of capacity. And I think you should do that before you spend $100 million to rebuild two of the schools that you're considering to rebuild with the bond money. And finally, I don't think, and I mentioned this in the email that I sent, I don't think you should be using 30-year bond money to buy buses and computers. You would not buy a car with a 30-year financing, and I don't think you should do the same for buses and certainly computers that wear out in three to five years. Uh, and I've heard again that the reason we do that, we don't have the money in the M&O uh, money, but in looking at that, I think you have room there, and I think you need to consider using M&O money rather than bond money uh, to uh, buy those assets. And that's all I have to say, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith. 